Hello everybody, this is Yule over at Fantastic Comics in Berkeley, California. We are located at 1708A MLK Jr. Way. And what you're looking at here is comics that I, as a service that I provide to people for, for a nominal charge, uh, I press their comics for them. And every once in a while, and I like to take a moment and uh, show them off to you. These are some pretty fun comics. Look at that one. Like nobody's ever seen that one before, huh? <laughs> I'm going to show you a few spots and problems that I'm hoping to fix in the pressing. And what maybe stands out is something that isn't you know, quite so good. I'm using the Caesar machine that I use to photograph things for eBay. So that's the reason why that border is moving around. If there isn't another light source or something to pull it away from the book sometimes it will start freaking out i don't know why i kept it on <laughs> uh these are bill sinkevich moon knights some of my favorite comic books so yeah you can see right there there's a big old line i'm hoping to at least soften now that's a sinkevich cover i can see a little roll on the left side but the art is kevin nolan and when i am recording this it's Kevin Nolan's birthday, so this is a happy birthday to you, man. And here we have Thor, number 300, a nice little giant-sized issue that only cost 75 cents back in the day. Toys R Us, what's that? And in this book, you can see some dirt. Hopefully it's not too much in the way of staining, and I can get that off. <laughs> Uh, Fantastic Four. I have actually done a video with my buddy Boogie Bentley about Fantastic Four 236. Probably my favorite Fantastic Four issue. Not the biggest fan of FF, but this is definitely one of my favorites. I'm going to try and uh, TLC this one. You can see right off the bat that there's that big line there. Whew, that's a, it's not a, it's a printer error if you will. So I don't think it really affects it negatively, but we're going to try and soften that up anyway. This Batman, I don't know, forgettable issue. <laughs> I can't remember what happened to that. Uh, and now here we have Star Wars. Actually, I can remember what happened in this one. I was never a big Star Wars comic book fan, but this issue always uh, was something that struck me. It's all about Luke, and you know how in Star Wars he talks about shooting womp rats or something in Beggar's Canyon back home. Well, this is like a past story with him and Biggs in Beggar's Canyon. Probably talking about that one time they all hung out. And here we have Spawn, first appearance of Angela, created by Neil Gaiman, sold to Marvel. She's now Thor's sister. Part of the new new uh, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. Jesus. It's hard saying that with a straight face. <laughs> and here we have a spawn. This is a really good thing about pressing. So you can see the damage right there. Oof. Um, it looks like a water condensation. Some sort of like, you know, wetness got to it. And... I should be able to fix that as long as uh, there is no staining to the to the pages on the inside or the cover. Water damage can actually be, you know, corrected a bit, depending on how bad it is. So yeah, looking forward to doing these books. Actually, I'm already doing some of them right now. And yeah, I charge ten dollars for a book. I have yet to really perfect doing fixing rolls like you know sus substantial rolls and uh taking off uh stickers is a difficult <laughs> i clean the comics i press the comics i present the comics recently a customers came back at a 92 and it was like the first appearance of boba fett i forget which issue that is like 42 or something on star wars and yeah and a lot of these, I think most of these comics are going to be sent out. Uh, <laughs> I'm not so sure if I would recommend The Last Starfighter, but maybe they know something I don't. 
but high grades of Bronze Age comics can fetch a hefty price, or at least there's people that are looking to get a hefty price for high grade nine, you know, nine eight, nine six Bronze Age stuff. And uh, who wasn't a fan of the last Starfighter, right? Am I right? Brett Blevins and uh, Butch Guys Art on the cover. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, think about subscribing and maybe give us a thumbs up too.